Today everybody, welcome back to another day on the road to 20. Today it's the 15th of May and we're going to have a little bit of a look back on my training in March and April, right after the European Indoor Championships. So right after the European Indoor Championships, I had to train by myself for about a week because I was in quarantine after traveling to Poland. And also because of this, I wasn't able to train inside, which was a little bit annoying, but you know, rules are rules and uh, yeah, it was worth it uh, considering how the European champs went. So I was going to up the volume quite a bit the coming weeks. But looking back, I should have been a little bit more careful because in March and April I've had quite a lot of problems uh, with like small cramps and stuff like that. Um, so looking back, that was something I should have considered a little bit more because I had a lot of speed in my legs, a lot more than I've ever had before. So I was not used to running that fast in training. But anyways, I'll just show you a lot of the training I've done. My first sprint session outdoors, I was going to do 12 six meters and that went pretty well. Here's a video of that. In the end of March I was going to start doing longer sprints, something I haven't done for a long while. So to prepare for that I did a little bit of hill runs. So let's have a look at that. You show me how to dare to love. So tell me what you're thinking of. Should I check the weather report? Rain's coming in. After a week, I finally got to train indoors again and I started to do some strength work. On the 31st of March, I think I did about five, six meters before we headed on to do my first long sprint run of the season with a 250 meter.
going into April, I was feeling really strong, so I decided to test out my strength in the snatch. Let's have a look at that. Day after we did some plyometrics. Looking back, I probably should have been a little bit more careful because of the day after I was doing some long sprints again. My first 150 meter session of the season with five times 150. I didn't film the first two, those went in about 15.5 or 15.4 I think. Let's have a look on my third one. I was feeling really good. In the final run I felt my hamstring tightening up a little bit so I decided to stop. It didn't feel that bad in the moment but in the couple of weeks it didn't really get any better. I went to a lot of treatment and it was really frustrating the coming weeks because I was feeling in really good shape. I felt like I could, could do some really good training. That 15.3 run in the 150 is the fastest I've ever run in Norway, but it was really cold outside, so it probably wasn't that smart to run that fast. And the coming weeks I just had to focus on relaxed technical running and I couldn't really push that much. On the 16th, 13 days after my small injury, uh, I ran a couple of hundred meters, my legs were starting to feel a little bit better um, and I could finally push a little bit. A guy called Suban showed up with his drone, so we got a couple of awesome shots from the hundred meters.
In the end of April my strength was also feeling really really good and everything felt kind of in place other than the small injury problems. So overall in the end of April I was looking pretty good, my speed was pretty good, my long sprint sessions were going pretty well and my strength was very good. So also I didn't talk about I had some problems behind my knee in March and April um, but it wasn't anything too bad, I had to go a little bit easy in a couple of sessions. Also I had some cough cramps which were annoying but they weren't too serious, only a little bit annoying in training and I had to lighten up my sessions a little bit. session with some relay training. March and April was a little bit of a learning experience. I had a lot of small problems which sort of ruined my consistency a little bit, but I think my training still was okay through those months. So I'm confident going into May, I'm hoping I don't get too many problems. And uh, yeah, the season is approaching pretty soon. So in my next video, you will see a nice long sprint session where I'm running two times 200 meters uh, long sprints and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. So thanks a lot for watching. If you want to support me a little bit extra and you want to get some more exclusive updates and exclusive videos from my training week by week and day by day, you can click the join button underneath this video to become a YouTube channel member. I'm very thankful if you do, and it's no problem if you don't. I will see you either way another day on the road to 20. Peace.